Good morning, guys. Guess what time it is? It's breakfast time. It's five days of oats, five different ways, guys. Today's day number two. And if you joined in with my videos that I had yesterday on making my whipped honey and my creamed oat cheese, which is really just going to be like a cream cheese, I'm going to use those items today in my breakfast. And I also have my pulp, my mush, whatever you want to call it, that was left over from my oatmeal that I soaked and made my creamed oat cheese out of. So today's dish is strawberry oat bars with a cream topping, with my oat cream topping and of course my honey. I'm going to mix my mash with some chia seeds, strawberries, and I'm gonna mash a banana and mix it all in. Put in my little mini cast iron square there. Bake it in the oven. I have my oven preheating at 350. And it probably will take 10 to 12 minutes to bake it. Come along with me and let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna mash my banana. And this is gonna go into my mash mix, my oat mash left over from yesterday. All right, once I mash this, I'm gonna add it to my bowl. This is my mash mix, uh, maybe a quarter a cup of my oats. Put that in there. I'm gonna mash it around. a scoop of my chia seed flax seed hemp seed mix mix that around in there all right that's good and mixed in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my little cast iron pan some of my avocado oil I'm gonna put half of my mix in here in my little pan and I have some strawberries I'm going to put on the center of this Cut up. First, I'm going to sprinkle some of my pecans over top of that. Alright, I've washed my strawberries. Now I'm just going to slice them and lay them over top of my oat mix. Super simple, guys. Use the ingredients that you have. Maybe you don't have strawberries, use something else. All right, now I'm going to put on my second layer of my mash. Calling my breakfast today, strawberry cream oat bars 
well, bar, this is one serving. Just doing something with the ingredients left over from my stuff I made yesterday. My cream oat cheese spread. All right, and on the top of this, I'm going to add just a little bit more nuts. Pecans I have, or use whatever you have on hand. And then I'm just gonna do a sprinkle of my raw oats over top. All right, my oven is ready. I'm going to put this in. This strawberry is reserved for my topping along with my whipped honey and my creamed oat cheese spread. So I'm gonna put this in the oven let it work its magic and I will be back. Probably gonna take maybe, like I said, 10 to 12 minutes to cook this up at 350. Well, that's baking in the oven. Let's open up these containers and check out our stuff. Remember the whipped honey? Well, I'm just gonna do this and look at it moving all around in the jar, it's so creamy and smooth. Look at that. I'm going to drizzle this over top of my dish. And then let's check out our creamed oat cheese spread. Look at that. Super easy to make, guys. I'll be back. 12 minute mark. I think I could put it, leave it in there a couple more minutes, guys. It's still kind of givey. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and like just say 20 minutes. That should be definitely done. So 20 minutes is the time for baking this today. All right, just a couple minutes left. While I'm waiting for that, I decided I'm gonna combine my creamed oat cheese and my whipped honey together and drizzle it over top of my oat bar. And I'm going to slice my strawberry to go over top as well. Instead of slicing, I think I'm gonna chop it into chunks. Make it kind of chunky. Don't be afraid to try new things, guys. Have fun in the kitchen. All right, my cheese spread. There's no dairy in this, guys, too, for those of you who are lactose. This is the perfect thing. It's made out of oats. And literally nothing else water. I did squeeze lemon in it, a little bit of salt, and that's it. There's my honey. I'm gonna just mix this up and drizzle this over my topping. I mean over my bar. Yum, it's starting to smell so good. Can't 
Can't wait. I think it's time. There it is, guys. Oh, it looks so good. All right. All I'm going to do is drizzle my mixed whipped honey and my creamed oat cheese dairy free over my oat bar. Look at how easy that pours on there. Yum. What do you think, guys? No, you wish you were here. So you could have some of this. You can make it super simple. Check out my other videos so that you can see how I made my stuff. How I made the cheese and the whipped honey. Well, I've got to get some of my chia seeds and sprinkle it over the top just for a little bam. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, let me just grab my bag of chia seeds. Sprinkle this over the top. Oh yeah, that makes all the difference. What do you think, guys? You gonna try it? Thumbs up if you try it or you got some ideas, suggestions. Give me your feedback. Remember to tune back in tomorrow for our day number three of five days, five ways of oats. Make good choices. Remember to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And I will see you next time for another healthy meal. Bye. Yum. Wish you could smell this. Smells so good.